This is how we find the perimeter of a square and a rectangle. Today, we will do four problems, each getting more and more difficult. So stay until the end to make sure that you're ready and prepared to pass your exam. Before we dive into the problems, I would like to give you four key words that are going to help you remember exactly what perimeter is. But the last one is the most surprising. So make sure you watch until the end so that you can get that specific and surprising keyword. The first word is going to be fence because typically we have a house, we have a tree, we have beautiful grass, but around the house, there's typically a fence. In order to know how much fence you need around the house, you need to know the perimeter. So a keyword would be fence. The second word is going to be outside. So when we have a piece of land and we have a lot of grass inside, that is going to be the area, but the outside is going to be the perimeter. Just like the fence, another key word to help you remember perimeter is outside. The third word is going to be around. Typically in a lot of questions, I've noticed that they say something like, this school has a playground and they want to put a fence around the playground. Whenever they say anything like fence, like outside, like around, that means they're asking for the perimeter. The fourth and final word before we get into the problems is going to be rim. Because if you look at the word perimeter, it contains the word rim. Now, whenever I play basketball, I usually shoot a shot and I try to make it inside the rim. But is this space the rim? No, the outside is the rim. So whenever you see the word rim, think outside, think around, think perimeter. These four keywords are going to help you automatically notice when they're asking for perimeter and when they're asking for area. For problem number one, they have given us a square, they have given us only one side, and they're asking us to find the perimeter. Now you may be asking yourself, well, they gave us one side, how am I supposed to know what the other sides are? And that's a great question. But here's the thing about squares. If it is a square, every single side is equal. So if the bottom is eight inches, so is the top, so is this side, and so is this side. And in order for us to find perimeter, we must add all the sides. So we can go ahead and do that. We can do eight plus eight is 16. Eight plus eight is 16. And now we have to combine it. So 16 plus 16 will give us 12. One plus one plus one is 32. So that is one way to do it. The other way to do it is to use our formula. This formula is going to be given to you on the day of your exam. So you don't have to memorize this, but it comes in handy because if for some reason you get nervous during your quiz or your exam, you can always refer back to this formula. Now this formula is perimeter equals four S. Now, if you've never seen that before, it's actually quite simple. Now, the P stands for perimeter, okay? So perimeter equals four. Whenever we have a number and a letter or two letters without a symbol in the middle, it automatically means multiply. So four multiplied with S. Now, what do you think S is? So S stands for side. So one side of a square is eight. So we replace the S with an eight, just like so. And all we have to do now is multiply. Four times eight is 32. And it tells us that the perimeter equals 32 inches. And as you can see, we got the same answer over here when we added all of them. So eight plus eight plus eight 
plus eight is 32, or we can do the formula, plug in the numbers, and we're gonna get the same answer. For this second problem, we have a rectangle. And the way we know it's a rectangle, it's because the length and the width are unequal. They are different sizes. If this was a square, all the sides would be equal. But since it's a rectangle, the length and the width are different. And one thing we know about rectangles is that the opposite sides are equal. The adjacent sides are equal. So if the bottom is eight inches, the top is eight inches. If the right side is nine inches, the left side is nine inches. And in order to find perimeter, all we have to do is add. So we can add the nines together, then the eights, and then we combine the sum of both numbers. So nine plus nine is 18, eight plus eight is 16, and then we combine them. 18 plus 16, eight plus six is 14, one, two, three. We get 34. The perimeter is 34 inches. And now we can also do it with the formula. This formula is a bit different than the formula for a square because the sides are different. So how does this formula work? So P stands for perimeter. Two, we're gonna have to multiply this two with L. L stands for length. So we have perimeter equals two times, because there's no symbol between the two and the L. The L is the eight. So two times eight plus two times width. The width is right here, which is nine. And when we have multiplication and addition, and we apply the PEMDAS principle, we know that multiplication comes first. So we do two times eight is 16, plus two times nine, which is 18, and that will give us 34 inches. So you can either just simply add all the numbers and you get the answer, or you can do the formula and you'll get to the same answer. Two roads to the same destination. This third problem is going to be a little bit more challenging, but don't worry, I'm about to show you exactly how to solve it. But before I do so, if you're enjoying this video, if you could please like, comment, and share this video, and watch it all the way to the end, not only so you can learn, but so that YouTube can push this video out and inspire and educate many other students just like yourself. So here we have a mysterious shape. They have given us the length of two sides and the perimeter of the entire shape. In order for us to find perimeter, we have to add all the sides, but we only have two. Well, don't worry, what we can do is add five plus five, which is 10, and that will give us half of the perimeter because it's two sides. What we can do with this 10 is subtract it from 14. So we can do 14, minus 10 is four. Now, what should we do with this four? Does this four mean that this side is four inches and this side is four inches? Well, we can test it out, right? Because the way we find perimeter is by adding all the sides together. So when we add, we're gonna get five plus five is 10, plus four is 14, plus four is 18. So the perimeter of this shape, if these two sides were four inches, would be 18 inches, but they're telling us that the perimeter is actually 14. So it cannot be four, it must be something lower because 18 is greater than 14. So maybe instead of putting four on both sides, maybe we should have divided it by the two sides, right? Because 14 minus 10 is four, but this four is the combination of two sides. 
So this four should have been divided by two. Two times what is gonna give us four? Two times two is four. So this two is the actual measurement of this side as well as this side. And the way that we can test it out is by adding. So if this side is two inches and this other side is two inches, well, it must give us 14 if it is the right answer. So five plus five is 10, plus two is 12, plus two is 14. So now we can compare the perimeters. Is 14 equal to 14? Yes, it is. For this last problem, we have another mystery shape. They didn't give us the name of it. All they gave us was one side and the perimeter of the entire shape. So let's break this down step by step. So we know that whether this is a square or a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So if this is three inches, that means this top side is also three inches. Now what we can do is test to see if this is a square because it looks like a square and might be a square. So let's test out to see if it actually is a square. So in squares, every side is equal. So every side must be three inches. And in order for us to find the perimeter, we have to add all the sides. And when we do so, we get three, six, nine, 12. The perimeter, if this was a square, would be 12. But they're telling us that the perimeter is actually 10. So the length of these two sides must be less because the perimeter that we got is greater than the actual perimeter. So it's not three. So what we can do is the same thing as the other problem. We can add the lengths that we do have and subtract it from the total perimeter. For example, three plus three is six. This six, we subtracted from the perimeter. So 10 minus six is four. Now this four represents not one side, but both sides. So we must divide. Two times two is four. We subtract, and now we know that these sides are actually two inches. And we can test it out by adding three plus three is six, plus two is eight, plus two is 10. So the perimeter of this shape is 10 if the sides are two inches. And when we compare that to the perimeter that they told us it really is, they're equal. So the length of these two sides are two inches. Thank you guys for watching and always remember, you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.